Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today I wanted to show you guys my setup. I don't know, I thought it'd be something cool to show you guys. Maybe some of you guys could get some ideas and implement it into your setup. But with that out of the way, let's stop watching this loser sweep in Destiny 2 and let's get straight into it. So as you can see, I pretty much have like two areas. I have my workplace area and then I have my entertainment center. But we're going to go ahead and start off with the workplace area first. Now, don't get me wrong, I actually use this area to game a lot too because I prefer playing on a monitor than a TV. Now, the monitor that I'm rocking is an Acer K24 2Y and it's a one millisecond response time get to get and has a 75 hertz refresh rate you know it's not the best craziest monitor out there but it only cost me i think around a hundred dollars when i bought it at the time and uh, i do use it for gaming like i said and it, it works pretty good for me and as you can see i don't use the original stand that came with the monitor i actually use a vivo stand that i got from amazon it's a pretty nice cheap stand you know it works perfect it's pretty sturdy as you can see at the base of the stand i have some velcro straps to help with cable management moving on to the brains of the setup i use a late 2013 MacBook Pro with 8GB of DDR3 RAM, a 250GB hard drive, and a 13-inch Retina display. And I know it's not the greatest laptop out there, but it allows me to do my homework and edit videos like this one. And yeah, that's pretty much all I need for it. The mouse that I use is an Infic wireless mouse. It's a Bluetooth mouse. It feels pretty good in the hand. Uh, it looks pretty nice. It has a nice two-tone color and it clicks pretty well and I would definitely recommend picking up this mouse if you don't have a Bluetooth mouse. The keyboard that I use is a Logitech K400 Plus wireless keyboard and it's a pretty good keyboard. I picked it up for about $25 at Best Buy. The only thing I don't like is the built-in touchpad isn't as responsive as I would like it to be. The microphone that I use to record all of my voiceovers is the Blue Snowball Ice. This is an all-around great microphone. A lot of YouTubers have started their careers with this microphone and you pretty much hear nothing but praise from it. To go along with my microphone, I have a toner boom arm. It's a very good budget boom arm. It moves and adjusts very easily. And to add to that, it actually has a headphone mount at the bottom. And for my desk, I just use an Ikea Linman tabletop. It's surprisingly sturdy for how cheap it is. I would definitely buy it again in the future. Okay, so moving on to my entertainment center. The TV that I use is a TCL 43 inch 4K HDR TV. It's a pretty good TV, I don't have any complaints with it, but I would like to upgrade to a TV with HDMI 2.1 so I could take advantage of the Xbox Series S. And just to the left of the TV, I have my bookshelf. Yeah, I love this thing because it allows me to just put like a lot of things or if I want to move something, I can easily do it without no hassle. But yeah, I pretty much keep my consoles, my pops, and my controllers on this shelf. I even have a little green plant just for some color. This is definitely one of my favorite pieces of my setup because of how versatile it is and not only that it looks very minimalistic and my secret weapon to set the mood is these two LED bulbs that change with a remote they really just help to like you know make the vibe a lot more chill but that's gonna bring us to the end of the video guys I feel like you guys are invading my privacy but no I'm just joking make sure to follow me on Twitter at hey it's quantum and I'll see you guys in the next one